Hey guys, welcome to Geo with Mutsuku. In today's video, we are covering the topic of river capture or stream piracy. River capture can be referred to as stream piracy. Now, river capture refers to uh, when a river, or when a more energetic river captures some of the water from a less energetic river, right? Stream piracy. If you know about pirates, if you watch Pirates of the Caribbean, you know that pirates take things by force, right? Just like a more energetic river will capture some of the water from a less energetic river, from a less energetic stream. That's why it's also called stream piracy. A more energetic river, it has more water, it is flowing more rapidly. It is able to rob or steal water from a less energetic river we call it river capture or stream piracy just like how pirates take things by force a more energetic river will rob steal or capture some of the water from a less energetic river right so the river which captures or the river which steals or robs the less energetic river is known as the captor stream capta stream this stream or this river robs or captures the waters from the less energetic river now the less energetic river which is being robbed which is being captured is known as the captured cap shared stream right capture stream and a captured the capture stream will be the more energetic more energetic stream or more energetic river it's the one which is going to rob or a capture the less energetic stream or river so the less energetic river will be the captured one this one is less energetic right chapter is more energetic but before we dive deeper into this topic you need to understand what's headward erosion okay now headward erosion is the same as saying backward it is backward erosion this is when a river erodes back to its source now look at this diagram here i have a hard rock this land form is a hard rock right at the top below it i have a soft rock or you can call it the less resistant rock less resistant whereas the hard rock is more resistant to erosion now above it i have a river this is my river flowing the river is flowing then it goes down right which means the river starts somewhere on this side the source is on this side and then to flow towards the mouth right now with headward erosion this is when the river erodes backwards it erodes towards its source it erodes towards its source the reason why this happens is because of this soft rock you can see the soft rock the soft underlying rock it is under the hard rock right this soft rock i told you it is less resistant to erosion which means that it erodes faster look at what happened here this was the position of the of this beautiful event uh, previously right this is where it was let me, let me put it in black but because the soft rock erodes faster, now look at the position of the soft rock. It has went backward. It has eroded backward. There is headward erosion. It erodes towards the source. This is because the soft rock erodes faster. You can see as this water from the river goes down, some of it is able to hit the soft rock and erode it backward. Then erode it backward. Is that eventually the position of this soft rock will be somewhere there and this hard rock will collapse obviously because it will be too heavy to support its own load it will collapse can you see that so this is headward erosion or backward erosion when the er river erodes backwards or when it erodes towards its source it erodes towards its 
source okay i'm going to use this diagram to explain river capture of stream piracy but before i go there you need to know that there are three conditions or three requirements uh, which are necessary for stream piracy right any one of these three can cause stream piracy or, or river capture number one is a steep gradient a steep gradient allows the river to flow much faster and have a higher uh, erosive power right it'll be more velocity hence there'll be more erosion number two a river must flow over a soft rock remember soft rock is less resistant so it erodes faster so that the river can erode into another river's headwaters right number one there must be a steep gradient number two the river flows over a soft rock or a less resistant rock which will erode faster right the river will be able to erode towards its source there will be more backward or more headward erosion right number three having a lot of rainfall on one side of a watershed right if there's more rainfall on this side of the watershed obviously this river is going to have more water hence there will be more it will be more erosive right number one a steep gradient allows the river to have more velocity it will flow much faster and be more erosive there will be more erosion right Number two, a soft rock. If a river flows over a less resistant rock or a soft rock, it will obviously be able to erode backwards much quicker, right? Because a soft rock is less resistant, right? Number three, if one side, this is the watershed, right? This high line area separating these two drainage basins is known as a watershed. It is known as a watershed this area here separating these two a high lying high lying area separating two drainage basins is a watershed if one side of this watershed receives more rainfall than the other obviously let's say this one receives more rainfall it is going to have more water it will have more uh, have a much higher erosive power it will be able to erode much quicker right and then you can erode backwards into this one capturing it or robbing it of its headwaters right so those are some of the conditions those are the conditions which are necessary or which can cause river capture or stream piracy okay now let's go to this diagram okay so this area here is drained by this river and its tributaries this area at b is drained by the river and its tributaries so this is a drainage basin an area drained by a river and its tributaries this is also a drainage basin an area drained by a river and its tributaries right this is drain ba drainage basin a drainage basin b now this high lying area which separates two drainage basins is known as a water shed it is a water shed a high line area separating two drainage basins right two drainage basins now let's look at these two rivers a and b they are both flowing in this direction let me, let me show you an arrow they are flowing in this direction both rivers are flowing towards the same direction right river a and river b right now remember i spoke about headward erosion when a river erodes backwards right towards the source a source is where the river begins starts or originates now let's look at this this river is smaller rivers or smaller streams known as tributaries right let's just look at this tributary let's look at this tributary if you look at this tributary, you can see that it's flowing in this direction towards the main river. You can see it from here towards the main river. So now let's assume, let's assume that this river is flowing over a soft rock or a less resistant rock, right? If this river is supposed to flow from here towards the source, sorry, towards the main river, it's a tributary, right? So now let's assume that it flows over a soft rock. If it flows over a, over a soft rock, it is going to erode backwards. It's going to erode backwards. There's going to be headward erosion. You can see how it's eroding into my watershed, right? It is eroding backwards. 
into the water's head and then it is going to cause something known as abstraction abstraction now can you see this watershed let me just draw it on the side here's the watershed watershed now abstraction is when the watershed is lowered and shifted right when the position of this watershed is shifted and it is also lowered now here's the watershed here's the watershed here's the watershed now because of erosion it can be lowered it can be lowered and it can also be shifted so the position was here now over time the watershed will be somewhere here right this is what this is where it was initially but it was it was lowered and it was also shifted now this is caused by erosion by head what erosion it causes abstraction abstraction right when the position of the watershed is shifted and the watershed is also lowered we call it abstraction right it is abstraction so abstraction is lowering of the watershed and shifting of its position due to headward erosion this river will erode backward into the into river a can you see what happens to river a and then it robs River A of its headwaters. Can you see that? Now River A no longer goes down. It is going to go into River B, right? Because it was robbed of its headwaters. It means that River B is more energetic and River A is less energetic. River A is less energetic. So now let's give these two river names. The more energetic river, river B, we will call it our captor. Our captor stream, right? It is more and it is the more energetic river which takes or captures some of the water from the less energetic river. That's the captor stream. Now the river which was captured or the river which was robbed is our captured is our captured stream right river capture stream river capture captured stream right our capture stream is more energetic it is more energetic whereas our captured stream is less energetic right this one is less energetic our capture stream is more energetic now let's come to this river if you look at this part right where river captured or kept where it took place can you see this is where the river was captured where river a was captured the area where the river was captured is known as the elbow of capture the elbow can you see my elbow it is the elbow of capture we call this let me let me uh, label it c c is the elbow of capture elbow of capture right it is the elbow of capture where stream piracy took place right where river capture took place you can see it's like an elbow c is our elbow of capture now if you look at this stream below it this stream no longer has its source right we call this our misfit stream. It no longer fits into this main river, right? Let me label it D. D is our misfit stream. Misfit stream. You see that? It doesn't it no longer fits. It lost its headwaters, right? It's also known as the beheaded stream. The beheaded stream. Misfit stream, also known as the beheaded stream. And now this dry valley, can you see this part where my finger is pointing? This dry valley between the elbow of capture and the misfit stream is known as the dry gap E. Is the dry gap or the wind gap? You can see this at E we have the dry gap or the wind gap. Right? It's a dry valley. Dry valley between the elbow of capture and the misfit stream is the wind gap or the dry gap. 
Okay, now let me mention some of the effects of uh, river capture or stream piracy on the capture stream and the capture stream. Now, since the capture stream is going to be receiving more water, this means that the volume of water will increase. Now, capture stream, that's obvious. It's receiving water from the capture, right? So, the volume of water is going to increase, which means that the volume of water in our capture stream is going to decrease. It's going to decrease. And then here, it's going to increase, right? Now, when you speak about erosion, the capture stream will have more water, so it will have more erosive power, right? It will be more ero it'll cause more erosion compared to the capture stream. Capture stream will have less erosion there because there will be less water, right? So number one, the capture stream will have an increased volume of water. There's more water coming from this side as well, right? Number two, it's going to have a much higher erosive ability. There will be more erosion. It will cause more erosion. And the capture stream is going to obviously have an increased drainage basin, right? The capture stream, the river, the water will flow much faster. Flow much faster, whereas the river on this side. So whereas water on this side will flow much slower, right? Those are some of the effects of river capture on the capture and capture. One more time. The capture stream will have much more water. The volume of water will increase. The river will flow faster. It has more erosive ability, right? It can lead to, can cause the river rejuvenation. The river, if you go to capture stream, the size of the drainage basin is going to be reduced, right? There's less erosion, erosive ability, less erosion because there'll be less water. The volume of water has decreased as well, right? There will be more deposition. There will be more deposition. 